Welcome to the 15th Dubai International Motor Show. In this video, we're going to be talking about the launches that took place of the most important cars. You're going to be looking at things we've been waiting for in the Middle East for the longest time. So let's get to it. Launch number one, the Land Rover Defender. Much awaited here in the Middle East and we're so glad that it got launched here in Dubai. The car comes in two types, which is a short wheelbase and a long wheelbase, which is a five and a seven seater respectively. The car produces 395 horsepower and with the engine of 3.0 in line six. Moving on, the Defender is just known to be that strong, stealthy vehicle on the streets and now you still have the same options, just with more luxury on the inside. So well done, Land Rover. The C8 Corvette Stingray has been awaited yet again for so long. And one of my favorite things about this car is the way it looks. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Moving on to the little plus about this, it has a retractable hardtop and that does not compromise on your storage. So you get a front and a rear storage and the top which gets in does not affect that whatsoever. Coming over to a little about the specs, it is a 6.2 LT2 V8 with 495 horsepower giving you 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds and hey, that is quick. Let us know what you think about the new Corvette. Moving on to the next one from good old Nissan, which is the Nissan Sunny. Been around for decades on end, probably the early 70s. Up until now, the Sunny this time looks better than ever because it is based off the Maxima. It has the Wii Motion grille, has the LEDs which look similar to that of the Maxima and looks absolutely stunning. So really good job with redesigning the entire Sunny Nissan. Moving over to our next brand, which is the Mitsubishi Outlander. This Outlander is hybrid, so it has two electric motors and a four-cylinder, two-liter engine. So there you go, hybrid. And that pretty much helps you save the environment and at the same time looks into fuel efficiency. So that is a really good choice and well done to Mitsubishi. This car looks really good as well. Really happy with the way the new shape looks. And last but not least, we do need something to seat many. Coming into the section of vans, we have the GAC GN8, competing alongside the Honda Odyssey and the Toyota Privia. This car is a 2-liter turbo engine with 201 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. It is the new segment for GAC, and I believe that they've definitely come hard with their game in regards to the van section.